With your CIG TV News Brief on this Friday and your weather forecast, I'm Donna Bush. PCR tests since yesterday have shown um, one positive result in a traveler who was being isolated in the government isolation facility, um, which, um, and that positive result was amongst 385 results as a total of yesterday. So there are 384 negative and that one positive. The latest COVID-19 pandemic results from the chief medical officer at Friday's press briefing were trial flights for residents into the Cayman Islands and the financial line of credit that is in place just in case it is needed took center stage at Friday's press briefing. The home isolation participants are required to wear an I'm safe smart wristband, quarantine in residential or other accommodations approved by the medical officer of health, undergo COVID-19 testing upon arrival and again on day 15, and remain in quarantine for a minimum of 14 days, after which a negative test result and sign off by the Medical Office of Health will be required prior to receiving clearance to go out into the community. Any use of the funds will address needs, address needs resulting from government's loss of revenue and its increased expenditure related to COVID-19 particularly increased expenditures by government to support the vulnerable in our community and business entities across the islands that have experienced financial hardship as a result of the pandemic. The government considers the award to be an important milestone. It is another major step in having assistance on hand to help the islands, its citizens, its residents and businesses to recover from the economic and financial hardships caused by COVID-19. You can watch the entire press briefing on youtube.com forward slash CID television or on your local cable network. The Lighthouse School successfully held their class of 2020 graduation ceremony on Thursday. The ceremony theme was changing through time and on hand to witness this milestone in the graduates lives were Minister of Education, the Honorable Juliana O'Connor Connolly, parents, friends and teachers. Certificates and awards were presented to the eight graduates for doing so well. Guest speaker Antoinette Johnson of the Cayman Islands Special Olympics shared some words of inspiration with the group. And as much as you've changed in your time at the Lighthouse, more change is coming. You're going to continue to grow and develop in ways that you may not be able to see very clearly right now. You have so much potential just waiting to surface. Life's unpredictability and never-ending changes will draw these out, and as time goes on and on, you will keep adapting and making changes in your world, and you will see those potentials come to fruit. Imagine the huge possibilities ahead of you. So let the adventure begin. Congratulations to you all. All the very best. Highlights of the evening included a special graduate's address from head girl Tiana Hurlston, an NCFA award winning poem by Tavin Brady, a musical item from Lighthouse School students, and Principal Janice Headley's reflection address. We say congratulations to the Lighthouse School graduates. Well, the newly formed Cayman Islands Regiment is looking for dozens more reservists to serve should we need them. Two local officers who trained at Sandhurst in the UK tell us what they're looking for. They have to be physically fit, uh, have to be Caymanian, British Overseas Territory citizens, or permanent residents in the Cayman Islands. And afterwards, they would have to do a medical assessment just to verify they are well enough to be a member of the regiment. You have to do a 14-day non-residential training camp where you will cover certain areas such as drill, humanitarian aid, and disaster relief training, as well as other areas covered in our training program. To recruit you, first training would be drill. Um, you do a two-week course on island, mm -hmm. so it would take you to soldier basics. Um, by soldier basics, we mean literally soldiering, so that will be drill, um, map and compass, um, how to survive in the bush, and those type of scenarios. And also we'll touch on hazard management basics, like what to do in an event of a hurricane, for example. So that'll be on the line. The role of the regiment is to provide disaster relief and security within the Cayman Islands and the wider Caribbean region. Again, if you are interested in applying, you can go online to explore.gov.ky forward slash CI regiment. The deadline again is September 26. 
Today's temperature was a high 90 degrees, the low 78. The forecast calls for partly cloudy skies with a 30% chance of showers and possible thunder. Winds are from the southeast 5 to 10 knots, east to northeast at 5 knots or less tonight. Seas will be smooth to slight with wave heights of less than 2 feet. The synopsis calls for light winds and slight seas, which will continue across the Cayman Islands due to a weak pressure gradient over the Caribbean Sea. Radar images show isolated showers in and around the Cayman area, which are moving towards the west. Now for more on local weather, you can go online to weather.gov.ky or download their app, CINWS, for the very latest. And that ends today's news brief here and another week on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, wishing you a safe and, of course, a very wonderful weekend and hoping you'll join us back here again on Monday.